Stranger Things season five is on the way, and so are the fan theories that no one wants to admit are probably true. There's no avoiding it anymore. Someone's gonna die. And even the creators have admitted it. At this point, it might be just about anyone, but we have a pretty good idea who it could be. And in this video, we're gonna see who that poor soul might be. So let's get into it. First up, could Will die in Stranger Things season five? Stranger Things season one revealed that Will is somehow connected to the Upside Down. Although we don't really know the whole science behind it, Will's connected to Vecna in some sort of way. They've been hinting at it throughout the show, but it wasn't until the last episode of the fourth season when Will felt a tickle in his neck, which indicated that Vecna wasn't dead just yet and probably wouldn't stop until he'd taken down everything and everyone. Vecna possessed Will back in Stranger Things season two, and many theories think that Will could basically be used as a host again in season five, especially since Henry Creel's actual body was probably destroyed after Eleven's attack. There's a huge chance that Will could sacrifice himself at the finale of Stranger Things season five while Vecna is possessing him. While no one knows for sure, it could possibly kill Vecna forever, but we might end up losing Will too. They needed several deaths just to open the gates between the Upside Down and Hawkins, and it could be the same to permanently seal the barrier. Because Vecna and Will's link has been foreshadowed as a key plotline in Stranger Things season five, there's a chance that there could be a fatal fight between the two to finally remove Henry Creel's powers over him. Next, why Eleven might kill him? Over the past few seasons, Eleven and Will have kind of become like siblings now, since she was adopted into the buyer's household after Hopper's disappearance. Even though the two didn't really have much interaction during the first season of the show, as Vecna literally kidnapped Will, their friendship has only gotten stronger over the years. And that's exactly why people think Eleven will be the one to kill him. Sounds pretty crazy, right? Well, it actually makes a lot of sense. Getting Eleven to murder Will would add that emotional arc to the final season that Stranger Things has been looking for, and that could even increase her powers. Eleven's abilities become way more enhanced when she is upset, and Will's death could be the thing to give Eleven the ability to finally destroy Vecna once and for all. Will's mental link to Vecna will probably pit the two in a battle of wits in Stranger Things season five. After all, Will was technically Vecna's first victim, even if he didn't actually kill him. But Will has been very absent in previous seasons, and having him be the focus once again would make a lot of sense heading into the last season. His sacrifice might be a trump card if the team can't figure out another way to defeat Vecna. Will is usually the most observant one in the group, so he might already be aware of this. His Dungeons and Dragons title, Will the Wise, will definitely be on full show when the group faces the final fight with Vecna. Coming up, Will's fate isn't the only one in danger. With the Upside Down literally invading Hawkins, no one is safe. But there's one character in particular that everyone's worried about, and that's Eleven. At first, it seems kind of dumb. Eleven is the only one who actually has the powers. Doesn't that mean she has a higher chance of surviving? Well, yes and no. Even though Eleven has all those cool powers, it seems like the writers are definitely planning to kill her off. The original plan for Stranger Things was for Eleven to die in the first season. She would die after banishing the Demogorgon, but that was when the show was supposed to be a miniseries. When the Duffer brothers realized the series had the potential to be a massive hit and that Netflix might want more seasons, they decided to keep the final open and Eleven's fate ambiguous. With rumors that the season five finale of Stranger Things would be incredibly emotional, this plan might still be intact. The Duffers seem to be willing to sacrifice their protagonist in order to save others. This theory seems even more plausible when you think about how much Eleven loves her friends. They were the ones who taught her what friendship even was. She would be willing to do just about anything for them, even if it meant sacrifice herself. Moving on, would this be the best ending for season five? Obviously, most fans would absolutely hate this ending. Eleven is the main character of the show and the reason why it even exists in the first place. But from a writer's standpoint, it could be the perfect ending. Stranger Things need something that will add layers of emotion to the finale, not a basic happy ending like
like most of us probably want. The destruction of mankind is a possibility with Vecna's plans. Telling a world-saving narrative would need the sacrifice of its hero protagonist. None of Stranger Things' previous seasons ended on a completely happy note. At least one person died or something happened to give the world that bittersweet aspect. Eleven dying so that her friends and humanity could survive is exactly the kind of thing that Stranger Things would do to finish its series. It's bitter, sad, but at the same time, hopeful. Plus, the Duffer Brothers said season five would be an emotional roller coaster, and that can't be good in any way. Next, why Steve won't die. Ever since season four ended, fans have been terrified for the life of our struggling single mother, Steve Harrington. The show already broke everyone's hearts by killing Joseph Quinn after just one season, and it seems like Steve is next. But for the first time in forever, we might actually be able to put our guards down for once. <laughs> yep, from what we've seen so far, it seems like season four proved why Steve won't die. So far, Stranger Things hasn't killed any fan favorite characters or even any of the show's originals, and the ones that have died were villains like Dr. Brenner that people were probably happier to see dead. Even though the show's creators never hold back on throwing everything they've got at Steve and leaving him inches from death every time. But that just might be their way of telling us that he's not gonna die. No matter what they throw his way, he either dodges it or finds another way to overcome it. Steve has survived all of his battles with both supernatural and human opponents in each season of Stranger Things. And the most surprising thing is the fact that he seems totally fine. Well, at least physically. But that's not even the craziest part of his recent hot run. Steve is now the character who has survived the most confrontations with the creatures of the Upside Down after Eleven. He used a baseball bat to defeat a Demogorgon in Season 1, battled many Demodogs in Season 2, and confronted the Stranger Things Season 4 killer bats. In every instance, Steve puts his life in danger, yet he took less damage from these creatures than he did from fights with actual people. Finally, he has overcome the Upside Down before. Every season of Stranger Things includes Steve getting beaten up. He recovered after being assaulted by a swarm of demo bats only a few episodes back. Not just that, but he was beaten unconscious by a gang of Russian soldiers in Stranger Things Season 3. Previously, Steve was knocked out in a fight with Jonathan Byers in Stranger Things Season 1, and he even lost consciousness in Season 2 when the crazed bully Billy beat him up so badly that it became one of the most graphic scenes Stranger Things has ever shown. Stranger Things' recurring beatdowns looked like an attempt to humanize Steve in the early seasons. In Stranger Things Season 1, he was an unlikable bully, but he was redeemed after being horribly beaten up by Jonathan in a real fight that Steve provoked. After that, he became a nicer, semi-redeemed hero who got beaten up for nothing more than protecting innocent kids. Steve's Stranger Things redemption journey continued in Season 3, and he became a heroic figure when the Soviet scientists beat him to a pulp. So, the more recent beatings could no longer just be an attempt to humanize him, since this purpose has long ago been completed. Instead, these overly violent and repeated scenes might be a foreshadowing of Stranger Things Season 5. Steve's repeated ass-kicking would make his capacity to survive the Upside Down in Season 5 much more realistic. Just like how Eddie was clueless about Demogorgon, Vecna, and Hawkins' terrible hidden past, which made his death very predictable. Steve isn't certain to survive the final season, but a look back at previous seasons improves his Stranger Things Season 5 chances, at least compared to Eddie. That's a wrap for today's video. Do you think Will Will could be killed in Season 5 of Stranger Things? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time!